Hey guys, and welcome back to the 504. A teen at a California high school is in a little bit of a controversy because a school administrator had a problem with her outfit. So take a look at the picture. This young lady goes into the office in this outfit and the assistant principal tells her to put on a jacket. She asked the student if she was wearing a bra and said that since she wasn't wearing one, she didn't want people to think badly about her or talk inappropriately about her. So now it started controversy. Some people were like, why does she have to wear a bra? Why are you telling the ladies how they dress and not how the men dress? I want to know what you guys think. Well, I think it's a time and a place for everything. Mm -hmm. In school, I'm just a little old fashioned. That's okay. I feel that you should cover up in certain places. You know, if you're going into a church or if you're going to school or, you know, an interview, wherever you're supposed to dress yourself properly. So I feel that she should have had it on. Now, does it define who she is? I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what yeah. about all women should have a bra on even if you don't really need one? No, I mean, if you don't want to wear one, don't, but it's the time and the place for it. Okay, fair the, enough, the, so not the a school. The thing is, this is school, and you should have one on. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times millennials, we take a stand in doing different things, and um, like she took it to Twitter and everybody's defending her, but I, it, it's wrong, you know, it's school and you should wear one. I think that the school administrator was fair, right, to teach a young lady in life that people are going to think of you a certain way for the way you dress. But I am on the young girl side, too, because I feel girls are made to be the villains for what they wear and not the young boys who make the comments. So she was reprimanded in another case or another young lady because a boy made a comment about her outfit. Well, I think in that aspect, if you are going to address the young ladies, you should address the young men as well. Certainly. But I still have that old school way that certain situations cause for you to cover up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm not mad at that at all. Mm -hmm. I just wish they would target both sides equally. Because I had I this agree. happen to me in elementary school, and they sent me home because they told my mom my skirt was too short. And my friend and I were like, oh, my goodness, because we're in fourth grade. What did we do wrong? And you yeah. feel yeah. so terrible. Yeah. And it's like, couldn't you have just told me the next day to wear a longer skirt? Right? right. It's not like yeah. any parts were out. So I related to the story in that sense that I feel mm -hmm. like women are always being picked on for what you have it's on. It's the way it's done. Yeah. It's the yeah. way it's done for us then. Is done for men. Right. They don't correct yeah. you guys about what you wear. When oh, has anybody know, ever told why? you anything when about showing too much skin? When is a guy ever inappropriate, though? Like, Let's hit again. <laughs> when is a guy ever inappropriate in this dressing, though? Short shorts. For like, school, yeah. though? Man parts showing. Yeah. For school, pants though. Pants that Yes. I, I've when if never... I can see your man print in your pants? <laughs> right. what, I mean, you, you, you don't tight. have to wear something down there like I have to wear a bra. Right. Come on, yeah. man. Come, come on, on, come on, Derek. Come on. We wait for See, it. But this it is should school. be handled and addressed the same. I, I no, agree. I sure. agree. Yes. But right is right, wrong is wrong, and she was wrong for. for I thought that the shirt was inappropriate. The school administrators are also wrong for not reprimanding the young men. Exactly. If there was I'll a young take, man, I'll say that. I'll there are young that. men who comment okay. on the ladies. They said we don't want people to talk inappropriately about you. Do you see what I'm saying? The uh -huh. problem is you're correcting the other person. Got she can't right. control what other people think. Yeah. You know what, Darren? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> revealed what they consider to be their biggest turnoffs in women's online dating profiles. There's this anonymous secret app. It's called Whisper. And so men wrote in honestly about the biggest mistakes women make when they're trying to meet the perfect match. So take a look at some of these, and I want you guys to weigh in. Overly filtered images. They don't like that. Duck face selfies, professional photos, women who lie about their age, and women who write they only want a man six <laughs> two or taller. <laughs> this made me laugh. OK, first off, has anyone done the online dating thing? I tried it. Okay. I, it's yeah. crazy. Did you violate any of these man transgressions? No. <laughs> you didn't have duck face selfies? No duck face selfies. Okay. No filters. You got to put you the real thing out there. You just kept your real self out there. Yeah. Makeup okay. on, no makeup. Darren, have you tried online dating? I, I did. I did. Um, I, I'm a little young, so I've, I've done the catfish thing for, for jokes. And laughs oh, wait, and giggles. you've been, what? you've catfished someone? Yeah, yeah. I knew your answers were shaky tonight. You're unstable. Just me. This yeah, is it's tragic. It, it was funny. You know, it was, yeah. So how many no. hearts you broke? See, mm. Wait, what? <laughs> this wasn't even what I was getting to. You're a catfish. I don't understand. Wait, no, she was. What the, that's what didn't even answer my question. Yeah. Did you like duck face selfies and well, no, I do. I like duck face selfies. No. I, have I seen them? Yes. Yeah. You, would you automatically? eliminate a girl from your pics if she had like a duck face selfie. Yeah, and the filters on Instagram, because a lot of times you don't look like that in person. Right. You know? I actually agree. I hate that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You don't look like that. Stop yeah. putting the filter that makes your face and awkwardly. The nose oh, and the ears. You're not a yes. dog. Yes. You, yeah. Listen, I've partaken enough foolishness myself, so I have no room to judge, yes. but I, I can't stand that stuff either. Yeah. All yeah. right.
Right. So I had to go to the other end. I found an article from the end of last year that said what the women hate about the guys. I was say, where's one for us? Girl, you know I got both sides. Okay. <laughs> Group shots, unfocused pics, zoomed out pictures, a picture of his dog, or an action shot where you can't see what he actually looks like. Mm. Erica, do any of these ring true? Yes. Just from here up. I need to see everything. Yeah. I hate those. I don't want to see your dog. No. I don't want to see a picture of your car, your house. Right. It could be someone else's. It's very true. So, <laughs> yes, <sighs> I have. <laughs> but see, the group picture, you know, if you're in a relationship and you want to be online too, you can kind of justify that it wasn't me, it was one of my friends, you know. So uh, I get the group picture. No, so you, yeah, no, I get the group. He's letting out a secret. Yeah, I'm the saying. The individual know. I've <laughs> ever met. I'm first uh, team yeah, I'm saying, that yeah. one. Wait, what? So it's what options. It could what be one of the three of you, you know. So, so you could be like, Bae, that's not me online. I'm that's yeah, my friend yeah, who's that's on the because right. that's my boy. Right. Oh, okay. Right. You know what? Let me help you. Get off <laughs> online <day. laughs> You are wasting people's time who are actually looking for love. What a hot mess. That was worse than anything I read. Yeah, Erica was like, what? What? Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, okay. Dude, we're judging you. All right, <laughs> Erica, I'm so glad that you were here tonight. Yes. I know you've got some great shows coming up. Tell me about it. I do. I will be at Ace Hotel. I'm sorry, Three Keys in Ace Hotel. All right. Um, September 8th. Uh, CD release for my new record, Homegrown. Go ahead, girl. And my birthday bash. Oh, congratulations. Mash it up. Thank you. Mash it up together. And we're going to have some fun tonight. Also headlining Jazz in the Park, uh, September 14th. Nice. And then let them know about the international life, OK? I'll be going to Australia. Yes, you are. <laughs> We're so excited for you. What is the I new album going to be about? Uh, Homegrown. Mm -hmm. It's released now, and I'm doing a big, fabulous CD release, and I'm going to have oh, some special guests. Oh, you look beautiful. Guests. Oh, thank you. And you know I love your voice. Thank you. So we're excited for this. Thank you I for being too. here tonight. Thank you for having and me. And for putting up with Darren, because I didn't know what was coming. Ooh, okay, I didn't. rough over there, girl. <gasps> well, everyone is branding these days, and we're seeing more and more logo creation. Darren is going to share his tips, I'm scared of them now, for designing a great logo after the break. Stick with us.